Hey, what's up everybody? Today I'm going to talk about Binance Deposit. Basically, this is a guide for you guys who are interested in using Binance Global because they charge a 0.1% fee and we are going to talk more about it. So if you're not subscribed to our channel, kindly hit the subscribe button, turn on post notification and leave a thumbs up to this video and let's get started. So I'm going to talk about Binance in a quick overview because right now Binance, they have Binance Singapore, Binance US and after that... Uh, other country is sanctioned, but this is the Binance.com, which I'm talking about, which is the global Binance, which is, I would say, the largest crypto exchange. And over here, there is like, I would say millions, millions of people using this exchange. And after that, um, yeah, they have lots of event ongoing. Therefore, I would say that this is the exchange that I really recommend you guys to use if you are going to, if you are interested in getting your entry into the cryptocurrency space. Because why? First of it is because they charge a 0.1% trading fee on yeah basically all the trading pair over here and of course if you guys are um yeah basically they they allow you to set a limit order and stuff like this and yeah you can do a, a market order as well so you can see there's limit and market and of course you can see over here there's tons of trading pair over here which you can buy whatever cryptocurrency you want to and of course um they do they have their own binance earn and of course yeah, liquidity swap and stuff like this so on this platform itself i would say that um they have lots of exciting product out there and i would say if you want to use the exchange this is the most uh, i would say that most ideally um ideal platform for you guys to trade on because you can set your own limit order and of course many events many product out there and of course they have a future trading platform over here uh, if you guys are interested so we are going to talk about uh, the topic of depositing your own uh, your currency towards Binance, so we are gonna jump into it. So the first one I'm gonna talk about is the deposit, um, deposit, uh, uh, deposit fiat. So basically, what does this mean? Basically, you can deposit Singapore dollars, you can deposit um whatever country that you're in towards the US dollars to their Binance account. So the first step is once you have created an account using my link down below, or you have an existing account, the first thing you wanna do is head over to your wallet, and of course, go to fiat and spot. Once you click on this, um, because uh, let's say if you created a new Binance account and you will need to have verification as well. So once you have done your verification and stuff like this, you will need to head over to your fiat and spot. Just click on deposit. And after that, um, this is a step-by-step -step guide um, to be honest. So over here, you'll, you'll be directed on crypto. So just click on fiat. And after that, over here, you can choose your currency. So let's say you are uh, residing in any country. And after that, from there, you can... Yeah, basically, I would say that the US, USD is the recommended option for you guys. Because why? Uh, over here, USD is automatically converted into Binance US dollar in a run to one ratio. So let's say you are in Singapore, and after that, um, yeah, to be honest, if you are in Singapore, you want to deposit funds onto Binance itself and get credited in the USD. And of course, uh, if you want to trade with the currency that they issue you, it's very simple. So let's say if you deposit, um, the minimum is fifty dollars. Yeah, so the minimum is fifty dollars to fifty thousand. Um. If I'm not if I'm not wrong, most of you guys are seeing like five five thousand or fifteen thousand because you will need to yeah do the advanced verification to get a larger amount to the get deposit uh to send funds into Binance. And let's say if you send more than fifty thousand in Binance, basically what they will do is um let's say on Monday itself they credited you fifty k, and after that if let's say you send a hundred thousand dollars, you will need to wait for two days to yeah get credited on this hundred thousand dollars. Because the limit is at fifty thousand, so if you send above the limit, they won't they won't uh refund you your funds, but instead they will credit to you. Um, just that it's gonna take a little bit longer. And after that, this one away. So how do you deposit? Is let's say I'm gonna do an example, one hundred dollars, and after that click on continue. And of course, you can see they will only accept funds from your bank. Blah blah blah. Uh, with the name that you have registered with Binance and done done your verification with. So we here. Um, let's say if you are using POSB, DBS, or Standard Chartered or UOB or whatsoever bank in Singapore or let's say in other country and yeah basically other uh, whatever bank you're using definitely you can use the SWIFT option and after that the bank the SWIFT code itself you have to take note this is the SWIFT code if let's say some of the bank do not recognize this SWIFT code over here so you need to copy this and after that at the end of it just um, put a 3x behind and it will get automatically um, recognized and after that uh, most of the bank will ask you to key in the the account holder's name so the account holder's name will be key vision so enter this key vision limited blah 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 just paste it and after they ask for the bank uh of course the account holder's bank bank account number so you need to copy this over here and paste it into your dbs or whatsoever banking app you're using 
And after that, the next one, they'll ask for the address of the beneficiary. So you, you can see over here, there's two address. And after that, over here, this is the part where people get confused if you do not use do not uh like do not have experience transferring uh funds overseas or to uh anywhere else in the world. So basically, what you need to do is take note of the the address. The address that they ask you to enter in the bank, um, uh, from the banking app itself is not the receiving bank address. Instead, it's the beneficiary's address. Unless let's say if you put in a Swift code and after that the Swift code itself it can't detect the Swift code. No matter you put three X or you didn't put any X. Just basically your bank do not recognize this Swift code. You need to enter it manually. You need to choose United States and after that you need to find Silvergate Bank. And after that, they will ask, once you click on Silvergate Bank, um, because Silvergate Bank itself, they have lots of various locations and outlets in the United States itself. So you need to find the one that is in California. Um, choosing uh, over here, so this is California. So you need to choose the one California. And after that, from there, you need to choose. Yeah, basically it will show you the address of the bank itself. You will need to choose that. Um, the bank details that is shown on your Binance account and after that once it's done the next step is to enter the beneficiary um, basically who, are, who you are sending funds to so this is the one that you need to send to and after that account number and of course the address if, if uh, you'll be definitely they're gonna ask you to input it so you will put this in and after that lastly on the description below uh, there's like yeah, basically there's a reference note a comment or memo towards the end of the transaction you will need to copy your own memo code so once you have copied your code yourself just paste on it and just click on send and hundred dollars in uh, us dollar so if let's say you only have hong kong dollars or let's say you have singapore dollars only uh, i'm going to use these two country uh, hong kong and singapore if let's say you are going to do a transfer towards the singapore uh, to the us dollar you need to use the remits overseas, blah, blah, blah. And after that, you need to choose US dollar. And after that, from the United States and yeah, enter the details and put $100 in. And of course, remember, you must always have the memo code itself. And to be honest, uh, from my experience of depositing into Binance itself, I would say that for Singaporeans, we, um, if you're going to use the overseas remit, uh, blah, 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 uh, transfer, basically it will... It only works. Uh, it only uh transfer funds during the working days because I'm using standard chartered. Therefore, I know that um every time I want to transfer funds during Monday to Friday, I'm able to transfer before um ten p.m. So let's say on Friday if I want to transfer fund before ten p.m., you will get submitted and being remit over to Binance to the U.S. side. And after that, um, Binance itself they will start crediting your funds during seven p.m. onwards towards ten p.m or even later, depending on when you transfer the funds. So I have already tested and proven many times. Um, for Binance, let's say if you put in your, if let's say on Monday, you're going to transfer um, $2,000 over to Binance to top up to buy some cryptocurrency. So if let's say you do it before uh, before 7 p.m., um, they will credit you on your funds around 9 or 10 p.m., depending on, yeah, depending on the volume of deposits and stuff like this. So for Binance side itself, they will do a manual release of the coins uh, towards you, credit to your uh, USD. So you'll receive BUSD and after that from there, you can start trading. So the second option to cash, to deposit into Binance is using the peer-to-peer. -peer, so we're going to talk about it. So we're here on Binance. Let's say if, you, if this step over here is too complicated and you do not understand, trust me, on the peer-to-peer -peer uh, side itself, it is much more complicated. And after that, we need to head over to, let's say, um, Okay, so if you're using the app itself, just head over to your wallet and after that, you just move on the top itself. You can see like spot margin futures peer-to-peer. -peer. Just click on peer-to-peer -peer. and after that, you will need to... Yeah, basically once you click on peer-to-peer, -peer, you will need to click on the peer-to-peer -peer trading. So once you have clicked on it, um, yeah, basically let's say you are residing in Singapore. So you need to choose your fiat as Singapore dollars. And after that, the first option over here, you will need to find... This is the rate. So basically, one US dollar is towards one US dollar is equals to one three six five Singapore dollars. And after that, you have to take note of this because over here you can see that the limit itself right now. Uh, let's say you're gonna buy from K Trade, the rates is definitely the cheapest over here. So you can see the rates get higher and higher. And of course, you can see that the availability of US US dollar they have is around thirteen thousand. And after that, the limit that you want to buy is minimum. You need to buy in two hundred dollars. And after that, this is instant because once you have um, once you click on buy US dollar, they're gonna ask you to uh, enter how much you want. So you're gonna buy the minimum, for example. And after that, you can see on the terms and condition itself. Uh, yeah, basically some of them you will need to send a WhatsApp. And after that, from there, 
um, do some KYC and stuff like this, but some people are lenient. Uh, they do not need some KYC. And after that, from there, once you have done, and let's say you have already uh, fulfilled the stop and step and self and you transfer the funds towards Ktrade and they have released you your money. So the next step you need to do is head over to your wallet um, peer-to-peer. And over here, it is a bit complicated. So once once they have released you the funds, the next thing you need to do is um, click on... Over here, let's say you have some US data. So you need to click on transfer. So from peer to peer to a spot account, and after that example, you have bought like um two hundred dollars worth, which is around one three seven example. Just click on this amount uh, maximum and click on confirm transfer. Once it has been confirmed, um transferred from peer to peer towards a spot wallet. Just head back to your, you can um yeah freely trade with your account over here. So let's say if you bought on peer to peer, you will need to head over to the option here to find US data. And after that, from there, find your trading pair, which is trading on the US USDT. And let's say if you have deposited um fiat, um doing the manual bank transfer overseas, um to towards their US do, uh, US dollars account, basically you will get credited in BUSD. So the the next thing you want to do is head over here to type uh, BUSD. Yep. So let's say you're gonna buy BT, uh, BTC. So for a for reference, you need to head over here, BTC, and after that, you will find the BUS dollar, US dollar um, trading pair. So from here, you can start trading your cryptocurrency. If you have deposited using the fiat option, and of course, now we are going to talk about which option is better. So as we have, have already discussed, depositing with the US dollar uh, towards their bank account or buying peer-to-peer. So... The, the thing that you need to compare over here right now is let's say on peer to peer itself, as we can see previously, um, the rates itself, they are from the people. So over here, you can see that um, right now, the rate is 1365. And after that, if let's say you are, got, you are using uh, POSB. So over here, if let's say you're going to use DBS to, or, or, OC, uh, or POSB to transfer funds. And after that, you have to, rate, uh, you have to check for the FX rate. Basically, it's the forex, uh, the currency's rate, and after that, from there, you can see which is the better option for you and how urgently you need your money. So over here, you can see. So one US dollar is around one three three six four. So over here, one US dollar is around one three six five. So you can see the significant um jump on the price itself. So let's say if you can wait for your funds to be credited to you by the next day, I would say from. On on the on their on their site itself on Binance, they say two to four working days at least. But sometimes it is within twenty four hours that you can receive your funds, depending on which time you have deposited your funds in. So for Binance, they operate in the US timing, if I'm not wrong. So yeah, our around seven p.m. they will start working in my time, and after that from there they will credit me my funds if I send send before seven p.m. and they will yeah basically if I send around. Around the day, 12 p.m., I'll receive my funds at around 7 to 8 p.m. If I say, um, send my funds at 5 p.m., I'll receive it by around 11 or 10 liters, depending, uh, truly. And after that, let's say if you, so there's pros and cons. So the pros of the, of using their deposit, um, depositing the funds towards them, uh, depending on how urgently you need your funds. So let's say if you see the crypto market crashing and you want to hop on to some cryptocurrency that is listed on Binance, so you will need to have some stable coin to buy in, of course. So if if you're going to do that, uh, either you spend much more money and get your funds instantly using the peer-to-peer -peer option, or you can wait. If let's say you are you have already um, bought into your cryptocurrency and you want to like wait for your funds to come, you can you can afford to wait and you do not fall more into the deep or whatsoever. You can, yeah, basically you can hold on to your funds and after that use the buying bank transfer and after that from there the bank transfer being credited remitted and you have to wait for around 24 hours and the funds is credited to you yeah so uh, you can save a little bit money i would say on the fx rate so you can see that right now we can put it on, on the side so over here you can see the rates itself is 1365 and after that over here the rates is showing 1366 uh Yep, so over here you can see this is the significant difference and after that we are going to talk about the cashing out uh, because we already talked about uh, depositing in. So right now we are going to talk about how do we even cash out. So stay tuned. So we have already cashed in. Let's say if you are using the deposit or what's, uh, you're using the fiat deposit because you are getting in BUSD and right now if we head over to the fiat and spot itself, you can't technically withdraw the funds using the BUS dollar. So if you click on withdrawal and you click on fiat, 
right now they do not have the option for you to redraw yep right now you can redraw so let's say you're gonna put in hundred dollars and of course there are some fees and stuff like this so the best way to redraw and i would say that this is a bit troublesome but this is the ideally the most um every time i cash out i'm using this option to do it because right uh, i'm going to tell you so once let's say i have some bitcoin and i want to take profit so i will choose the trading pair i will always sell my coins into us dollar a uh, us data so what i do is trading from whatever coin towards us data once i credited once i gather all the us data that i have so let's say i have five thousand dollars to cash out i will head over to my wallet and after that fiat and whatever is this fiat and spot so i will do the transfer option so once I click on the transfer option, I will choose the peer-to-peer -peer option and after that US data. I will send my funds from US data from spot from my spot account towards peer-to-peer. -to -peer. Once I've done it, I will head over to the peer-to-peer -peer option. And after that I will do this thing called a peer-to-peer -peer trading. I will try to sell people my coin. Um over here you can see. Uh over here I will create my own ads over here. And after that, um uh, yeah, basically sell off my uh, my US dollar at a higher rate so I can set my own rates and of course this this way of cashing out is yes you will get a little bit more than than selling to people so let's say if you're going to sell to people you click on this sell and after that you want to sell sell US dollar and receive Singapore dollars so over here yeah so over here you can see that the rate they are offering uh this is using payout. I do not know why is this option. So you can use like bank transfer pay now, which is at 1358. It's still above the bank's rate, but this is instant. So you can see the limit as well. You need to sell a minimum of this amount. Uh and after that you need to yeah, you can choose from the the limit and after that the availability that they want to buy, depending. So let's say if you have let's say you have fifty thousand worth of US data to sell off. And yeah, basically you can be the be the one setting the rates because they are giving the supply out. So what I normally do, I will do this my ads. I will create my own advertisement, and from there I will yeah set the rates of of whatever. And after that, I will put my terms and condition. So once I've done it, I will publish that the the peer to peer trading thingy. And from there, I can cash out that way. And of course, the rates is slightly higher. It's higher than a bank by a lot, I would say. And yeah, basically every penny is count. So basically we come up the end to the end of the video. So if you like the video, kindly hit the subscribe button, turn on post notification and leave a thumbs up to this video. And of course I'll see you on the next video. Peace.